Welcome everyone, this is your boy Dryden Matador and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash the like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters of this YouTube channel. A big shout out to Crazy Boss V31, Weez GNZ Gaming, and even Moldy Superman YT. Now these people are our YouTube members on our YouTube platform, and I would like to give a big shout out and thank you for their support. So why don't you go inside my description below and go and check them out. And we're going to get straight into the video. Now this video is all about on how to code your own Discord button reaction roles and even your automatic Discord bot status changer for your Discord bot. Now this was proudly brought to you by AutoCode. AutoCode has many features for you to install inside your Discord bot. So go and check it out. The features that I will be installing and showing you guys how to install it is the automatic Discord bot status changer and the button reaction role. The first one that we are going to install is the Discord bot status changer. So before you do anything, make sure that you go to your Discord server and make sure that you kick your bot out. Next, Make sure that you go to your server settings, go to roles, and now make sure that you do create your roles that you want to install. The role that I'm going to install is the verify role. Once you have done that, then let's go back to our order code. Install for free. There now, you can change this if you want to, it's totally up to you. Go to next, and now next, link to your Discord bot. Now go over here to link to new resources. You can read this if you want to, it's totally up to you. Go to next step, and now we need your client ID. Now go to my description, and I select the Discord developers portal, and now you can create a new application. If you already got one and you want to use your existing, you can. If you don't have one, then click on new application. And now you can name your application whatever you want. I'm going to name mine frog for no reason. Create your application. You can add a profile picture if you want to. It's totally up to you. Go to bot. Select add bot. Select yes to it. Then next, scroll right down to the bottom. And now check these three. Then save changes. Scroll up. Then go to your OF2. And over here is your client ID. Copy your client ID. Go back to order code. Then place your client ID there. Now we need your client secret. Go back to your Discord developers portal and copy your client secret. Go back to order code, then just paste it right there. And then now go to the next step. Scroll down and now all you gotta do next is just copy this. And then go back to your Discord developers portal, scroll down just a little bit and now click on the add redirect button then paste it inside a box save changes next go to bot then copy your token code go back to order code then go to next step scroll right down to the bottom and paste your token code over here next finish now you can invite your bot into your Discord server. Select server. 
and now continue scroll down and authorize your bot and I select I am human your bot then will redirect to your discord server and here's your bot right over here it will appear online very soon so don't worry now there it goes now over here it says autocode discord autocode.com we need to change this when you are inside your autocode okay go to install app and now we are going to change our discord status go to continue Now on your first page over here, you can see the status right over here. So change your status. You can name your first status, your name. Now the next one that I'm going to do is the basic status. And I'm going to do hello world. Then the next one down I'm going to do is hello there. Now over here, these two are optional. You can change these two if you want to. If that's if you want to, okay. But it's totally up to you. But if you do want to change it, then just click over here, okay, and then just delete all this if you want to. But I'm going to leave game because game is playing. Now, if you want to change this, just click over here and just delete all this and now leave all line there. Now, once you are happy with your settings select save and then select run now go back to your discord server then go to your discord bot and as you can see it says playing again hello there so now we have finished installing the discord status changer now you can just exit out of here if you want to now the next application that we are going to install is the button reaction role select install free and then now select next and then link it to your discord bot and now choose the same discord bot once that is complete click on continue now you will need to add your prefix and now install app and then now click on continue and now over here is your main page now go back to your discord server and now we are going to do the button roll button rolls now this is what the button rolls will look like right over there now unfortunately it doesn't work right now because we didn't add our roll ID so this is what it looks like so I'll be showing you guys how you can change your title your embed color and your footer and even your description and not to mention change the color of your buttons and the text of your buttons and emojis as well so before you do anything make sure that your bot does have a higher roll and then once you guys are done go to your server settings go to your roles and then now select your roles that you want to add the role that i'm going to add like i said before is the verify so copy id go back to your auto code and now go to button folder and now go to interactions one and here it says role ID this says role A ID here so this is for role A delete this and now paste your role ID there and now make sure that you do save your changes now go back to your create.js now the role id that i added is the verify role so what i can do over here is scroll down now 
The row ID that was inside there is row ID A. So as you can see, it says row ID A. So that means we can change this name to verify because that is the verify role. So change it to verify here. Now, that is how you change the button. You can change the emojis if you want to. Just delete that and change it to your emoji, whatever emoji you want. If you don't know how to install and find the emojis, then I will leave this inside my description below. Now you can get as many emojis from here. I'm just going to select any random emoji. I'm going to pick this one over here. Copy and I'll go back to your auto code and I'll delete that. And now paste that there. Then that's all you gotta do. Once you are done, save changes and now run. Go back to your Discord server. And now, let's do the command. Button rolls. As you can see, the emoji is changed and it says verify here. Now, as you can see, I've got no rolls. So let's select the button. And there you go. I've got the verify roll now. And now I'm verified inside the server now let me show you how you can change the title and etc okay now inside your auto code all you gotta do okay is that you can change the title over here now inside the description you can say uh, verify and now whatever okay so I, I have shown you guys how you can change the title and etc now change the color of your embed is over here okay and you can say um if if zero 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 and now you can change the footer over here you can you can say over here um your server info or whatever you can say like my discord server is express codex so i would just say express codex server now that is how you do it and now over here with your second button you can add another role save your changes and now go back to your discord server go to server settings go to roles and now you can add another role that's only if you're doing a reaction role okay go back to auto code go back to interaction 2 and now paste your next roll over here there you go and now save changes and then now run go back to your discord server just ignore that okay that always comes up now let's do the command again There you go. Now, as you can see, it says verification system, and then now we have changed the embed color as well. So let's go and remove this again, and now let's test this again one more time. Verify here. We got the verify role, and now we are going to select the next role. And now we got the white role. So that is it guys, so I have showed you on how you can install your reaction role and turn it into a verification role and how to change your Discord bot status as well. So if you do have any questions, then let me know in the comments below. Just to let you guys know that there is many features inside the apps, okay? And now you can actually install more things into your Discord bots. So, if you guys do get, get stuck installing any other apps, okay, then just let me know in the comments or on my Discord server and I'll be more than welcome to help you guys out with your Discord bots. So with that said, if you guys did enjoy this video, 
please smash that like button and subscribe for more content and i will see you guys on my next video thank you for watching peace and i'm out Thank you.